Hey guys, I'm Anand, your tech guide from Tech Store. This is a very important video. If you have uh, purchased a Dell Inspiron 3511 or a Dell 3515 or any laptop which is a very slim laptop and uh, when you want to open the laptop with one hand, it stutters basically like this. If your laptop you have purchased in the past one and a half, two, three years is doing something like this, then this is what is going to happen. Your laptop is going to get display frame distorted. The entire display frame is going to cut off and uh, within no time, maybe the display screen will also get damaged and uh, it will result in a lot of unwanted uh, wastage of money basically because the company does not cover this particular issue. Now, from this that you are seeing over here to this particular, the way it is, after watching the video, you'll be able to convert a laptop like this into a laptop like this. Both are the same laptops. In fact, both are the same Dell 3511s. We will show you how to basically make the hinges loose of this laptop so that uh, it does not damage your display frame or the touchpad and base. So let's do it. So first thing first, you need to flip the laptop and open up all the screws that are visible over here. Remember this is a case study of this particular laptop. You can apply the same process to any laptop that you have. There are a lot of videos on my channel which will allow you to get access to the place where we are going on this particular laptop to loosen the hinges. Steps, the process remains the same. Take a triangular prior like this and start prying the base. These two screws will not come off. Now you have to disconnect the battery first thing first. So just remove this battery connector, pull it out. Now there's this Wi-Fi antenna cable that is there which you need to remove for which you need to remove the screws of the Wi-Fi. Take a tweezer like this very very gently just remove the antenna cables. Remove the Wi-Fi chip. It is intertwined with the speaker cable, so remove the speaker cable also. On this side, you have the display cable, the VGA cable, which you need to remove. Just remove it like this and uh, remove the VGA cable that is connected and you're good to go. Remove these screws over, the hinges screws. These are hinges screws. You have to keep it on a different side so that uh, they don't mix. All the four screws are of the same dimensions. So you can keep all of them together. So four screws out. Now you have to put a little bit of pressure and need to open the hinges and you'll have the hinges come off like this. Now, once they have come off, just lift the base and remove it out of the entire display assembly and you have the display screen over here which we need to work on take a prior like this and you need to remove the cap protrude it such that it just comes off it's held by a flower bracket arrangement you keep it on the left side the same process with this part the hinges cover will give away just like this so both of them are different so don't confuse left and right keep it that way and now you need to base these are the screws these are the nuts which are actually creating all the problem they are very very tight as you can see very very tight which will lead to a lot of unwanted pressure over here as well as here leading to the breakage of this particular section or this particular section so now we need to loosen this particular hinge. I need to take a tool like this. Uh, it's a 5.5 mm for this particular screw over here and you need to put it like this over here inside and you need to just loosen it and then check if it is loosened. Yes, it is loosened. Just a little bit more. This calibration, uh, you have to do it as per your understanding when you're doing it. This is something that I cannot teach per se. 
you need to know how tight or uh, loose this particular thing is and uh, you have to do it so we are done with this side this is fairly not loose not tight it's in the between so we are hoping that once you put it it will open it one hand operation let's come to this side now and loosen it and you will see it loosen now a little bit more if you make it very loose it will not stay you have to do the calibration accordingly now we need to put the covers back push it and it fits fine same way with this part here now you need to take the base back and put it like this put the screws and we need to check if it works fine so we need to put the screws on both the sides now put the laptop back like this and just check if it is opening with one hand yes it is absolutely not a problem it is opening without any stutter and you are assured that it will not break off the display frame now you are good to fit it back so you need to put the wi-fi antennas back Put the speaker cable back, put the VJ cable back. And you can put the base back. and it is opening absolutely like a charm so this my friends was a video showing uh, the process to calibrate the hinges of the dell inspiron 3511 you can replicate this process to any laptop you can search on our uh, youtube uh, channel all the almost all the laptops you will find where you can reach up to the hinges level and you can calibrate on your own Hope you like the video, do let us know your suggestions and comments and do not forget to subscribe to us. We do a lot of hard work to produce videos of this kind and we require you to subscribe. Remember, we will only reply to the comments if you have subscribed to our channel. Thank you so much.